Can't beat a cup of tea first thing to wake you up. Good morning and welcome back to Christmas Countdown where we count down the days till Christmas by vlogging every single day. We are currently on the 16th of December, nine days until Christmas. So it is currently five to nine and I'm still in my dressing gown. Why you may ask, don't I have work today? Yes, I do have work, but by pure chance, I'm working from home today and tomorrow, which means I get a bit of a lying. Which is great, but because I'm so used to getting up so early now, I was still awake at half six, seven o'clock this morning. Ridiculous. My body is fine-tuned now to get up early for work, that when I get a lie-in, I wake up anyway. It's so annoying. But it does mean that I can wear my slippers to work because I'm working from home. And I can wear my jeans to work because I'm working from home. It's just great. You know, I don't think I will ever get over the novelty of being able to sign off my case notes with Joanna Williams, communication and language specialist. It just sounds so good. And it'll be even better when this apprenticeship comes out, hopefully next year. And once I've done that, I'll be able to sign it off with Joanna Williams, speech and language therapist. Up and up. I seem to be having a run on parents not picking up the phone, constantly leaving voicemails and they never ring back. So annoying. And it makes me look like I've not done any work because I've not booked in appointments, but I've really tried to book in appointments, but parents just don't know how to pick up the phone. It's the green button. At least being able to work from home has allowed me to do one thing. It's allowed me to finish off the Macaton video that I've been doing for Chatterbug. Hopefully, this is going to get shared on all socials. And if it does, I will insert it into the video. I'm really impressed with how well it's gone. So we've done a Macaton video of We Wish You a Merry Christmas. And it just looks brilliant, if I do say so myself. I've quite enjoyed editing it together as well. I'm a weirdo. I enjoy editing. I'm just a bit of a perfectionist. I like things to look perfect. What are you doing then, Mother Bear? I'm wrapping up presents to go to people. Ooh. Doing the Santa bit. Being Santa's elf, are you? Being Santa's little helper. Ooh. He sent me some gifts to wrap up. Ah. Uh, was he too lazy to wrap them himself? Pardon? Was he too lazy to wrap them himself? Yeah, yeah, he's uh, he's isolating, so he can't do much in this <laughs> small room. <laughs> Self isolated in the North Pole, he, is he? He is. He's uh, it's touch and go whether he can go around. Mm. He, he said to me, "Ah, uh, did you know?" Talking to him. Ah, is he self isolating from Mrs. Claus and the elves? Yeah, yeah, he, he wants some peace. Peace and quiet. It's one day of work and you can't do it. <laughs> I know, he's uh, putting in the, might be putting in the sick note for the sharing, might be. Ooh. <laughs> Not a lot of people will be uh, quite upset about that, I think. I know. Well, some people might say that he's immune, but other people might just say, nah, he's not working. <laughs> some places when there's a when the blip 
when you've uh, put the countries back into quarantine. Yeah, ban and travel, does that yeah. include sleighs? <laughs> Taking it off because if he goes through some places and if it's not in the travel corridor, he, he can't, he has to isolate. <laughs> oh. The amount of COVID tests that you'll have to do just to go to places. Oh yeah, go through every, uh, every, um, I wonder how many tests the elves have to do because they'll be working in close proximity with each yeah, other. Yeah, they're very, very close, aren't they? Because they all work on the same bench, don't they? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Ooh, Christmassy reindeers. Yeah. Wrap it up so that I know. I've got some, but I've still got a load of presents to wrap myself. And I'm not that great at wrapping, so I end I up. Know you're not. <laughs> I end up using it more than I need to because I don't really know how to do it. As long as it covers the present, that's fine. That's yes. all that matters. You don't crumple it up. It's supposed to be nice and stretched over and just so that it's nice and neat. I'll get Charlotte to wrap my presents for me. <laughs> yeah. She would do it nice and neat. Yeah, she certainly would. That's quite easy. You just chop a bit off and it's perfect. How do you manage to do that? You have to judge the size. You, you get to know how size it is. You measure it up. Wrapping paper nowadays have square little squares on them. So you can judge how much to cut off. You've had a lot more practice than me. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, mister? He's inspecting your work. He's playing with the dangly bit. <laughs> There's all these things as hell. Well, he's never... He's a big kitten. He is still a kitten. He's not even one yet. So this is all new to him. It it's is. like, what's all this... The and shiny stuff, stuff and all this paper and this sticky stuff and, and what's these black green trees that I see everywhere? Yeah, and all these flashing lights everywhere. <coughs> <coughs> you inspecting the inspecting the handle, are you, Leo? Yes, I am going to bite this handle and be a terror. I'll be a pest. Did Charlotte want to go to school? No, Charlotte didn't want to get out of bed. I had a prodder. I lost count the amount of time. I was like, come on, Charlotte, now! Now! Yeah, I do that all the time. I have to quickly go without her. Which is pointless. Won't be any good, because you have to go to school. You can't leave without her. I feel so prepared this year. I just had... Cheesy FM mum that I've been listening to while I've been at uni with my housemate and I thought I might as well have it on while I wrap some presents for this year. I feel so prepared. Full draw. I'm ready for Christmas now. Clocking off time. I've done my work for the day. It's really strange working from home because I don't feel like I'm working and I don't feel like I've done much with my day because all I've done is sat at my kitchen table in front of my laptop but it's been a really productive day because I've managed to contact parents, get children booked in, fill up calendars, finish my Makaton video so all in all a good productive day. Now I'm going to wrap up my secret Santas because I need to deliver them. Oh, the weather outside is awful. But I still have to go to work. Never mind. It's Wednesday, so it's my late shift, 7 to 11. So I better don my Christmas jumper. Here I am, 
Christmas jumpered up with flashing lights. I look Christmassy, even if I don't feel it sometimes. Right, so I've wrapped my secret Santa. I've also written some Christmas cards for my colleagues at that work. And now all I need to do is deliver it. I always get really worried doing Christmas cards because I always worry I'm going to forget someone. But I think I've got everyone. I hope so. If I haven't, I'm really, really sorry. I must point out, I was going to walk to my work to deliver my secret Santa and these cards, but I had to wait for my landlord to come round to fix one of the lights in my kitchen. And it got dark and cold, so I'm just going to nip round in the car. Also, how pretty do my Christmas lights look?